Welcome back to another Quick Start lesson. Today, you'll learn how to control prototypes using keyboard press in Protopie. We'll create a photo gallery in which you can use the left and right arrow keys to navigate your photos one by one. Let's get started. Open our starting pie. Our photos are grouped into a paging container. This allows us to browse photos with the swipe gesture. We covered paging in another tutorial, so if you haven't learned it yet, be sure to check it out. Let's take this experience to the next step by allowing us to navigate photos using keyboard presses. To work with keyboard key presses, we use the press trigger. Add one to your scene now. You can configure which key press the key will be associated with. Choose right from the list. Now, whenever the right arrow is pressed, this trigger will fire. Let's rename it so that we know at a glance what key it's for. Next, add a scroll response to the image's layer group. You'll want the container to scroll by a relative value that is set to the space that separates our images. Let's use 900 pixels. Let's do the same for the left arrow key. Add another press trigger. This time, choose left. Same as before, rename the trigger. And repeat the same steps. This time, we want to scroll by negative 900 pixels. Now let's see how all that looks like. We can scroll left and right using the arrow keys fine. But notice how we're scrolling beyond the extent of the list of images? Don't worry, let's fix this with conditions. Conditions help us set up the parameters that must be satisfied for our response to be activated. We cover conditions in depth in our Protopie 101 crash course, so be sure to check it out. When we are at the first photo, we're going to prevent the photos from scrolling past the limit by pressing the left key. So let's add a condition under the left trigger. We want to configure the condition to let the scroll response only get triggered starting from image 2. From the condition property panel, let's select the images paging container and its scroll property. Choose the greater or equal to operator. Lastly, in the bottom section, let's specify 900, which is the scroll distance when we scroll to image 2. And don't forget to drag our scroll response under the condition. Let's preview. See? Because of the condition we just set up, the scroll response under the left trigger no longer fires when we're at the first photo. Similarly, we will configure another condition under the right trigger to prevent the photos from scrolling past the last one. Let's add a condition under the right trigger. This time, configure it to be the images container's scroll property less than or equal to 2700. In this case, 2700 is the scroll distance of the second to last image. In other words, the right trigger won't trigger the scroll when we're at the last image. Once again, let's drag the scroll response under this newly created condition. And we're all done. Let's preview our experience one more time. It works perfectly, both by paging with swipe gestures and when we use the keyboard arrow keys. Now you know how to add keystroke interactions into your pies. See you in the next one.